what consists of 22.78 square miles, has Facebook, Apple, Google, LinkedIn, and many other tech company employees love to live there? One answer is Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale, California is one of the biggest populations of Apple, Google, LinkedIn, a lot of tech companies and Facebook, a lot of tech companies, employees live in Sunnyvale. One of the reasons for this, Sunnyvale, the way that it's made up, the way that it was created and built, there's 22.78 square miles of Sunnyvale. Out of the 22.78 square miles, there's actually 19 parks for the kids to play. And Sunnyvale is very close to all of these campuses of Apple, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, each of these, each of these companies and many other tech companies have offices inside of Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale is a, is, is very, uh, is a very unique hub because living in Sunnyvale, you can also go from downtown Sunnyvale, which has recently been revamped over the past five years. You can go from downtown Sunnyvale. You can easily get to Palo Alto, you can easily get to Redwood City, all the way up to San Francisco. And so that's one of the reasons Sunnyvale is also very oriented for these tech companies. But when people have downtime, when tech companies, the clients that I work with who are in these tech companies, whether they're single or they have families, they appreciate their green space. And having that green space at 21.78 miles, square miles, and 19 parks, there's almost a park for every square mile inside of Sunnyvale. If you think about it that way, it does make it very easy to, to have accessibility to green space and to have accessibility to walking, walking the dog, taking a break. If you want to break away from the screen, that is a great way to do it. Have a walk in the park have a chat with a friend while you're on the phone, whatever it is. If you're on, if you're on a, a if you're on a, a Zoom call while you're walking, uh, you know many people aren't always aren't always on the video, and it's it's a great space for them to walk and enjoy the green space. It's a great place for them to go and spend time with the kids when they have a break. It's a great place for the family to get together and have a picnic, and I think that that's one of the many things that really allure people to Sunnyvale who are coming here or who live here and work for the tech company already. When you work for the tech company and you know that you have to take these breaks, you know that you, you're gonna be in, in front of the screen all the time, right? And as a, as a tech company employee, you know that you have a lot of pressure on you. There's no question about that. Yes, tech company employees are very strong workers, very intelligent, very highly educated. And with all of that comes a lot of pressure. And that pressure, you need to have a break. And if you have a family, then at night or in the evening, in the morning, it's a great time to go walk with the kids, spend time with the kids. In the afternoon on the weekends, don't always get the weekends off, right? So in the afternoon on the weekends, go and have a picnic in the park. But I really feel that's one of the main allures for Sunnyvale is to, to these tech companies is to have that break and have the green space. There's also a lot, of, a lot of restaurants in Sunnyvale. So downtown Sunnyvale has been revamped over the past few years, and it's continuing to be revamped. There was Whole Foods that just recently opened. The, the uh, movie theater just recently opened as well. Sunnyvale is really starting to attract a lot of people from the downtown. So the, 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 the train station and everything else is really starting to evolve inside of Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale does get busy, there's no question about it. But one of the great things about that is you can walk. You can walk for good parts of Sunnyvale. You can take an Uber. Uh, you know, there's very, very good parts of Sunnyvale and a lot of the hubs of Sunnyvale. You can easily ride your bike in, in all of Sunnyvale. Silicon Valley is really great for riding your bike, in fact. And there's some great trails in Sunnyvale also. The Bay Trails are also fantastic. If you wanna take a break and get away, Bay trails are fantastic for Sunnyvale also. And I really think that these reasons are, are many of the reasons that people really love Sunnyvale and they love to work and be in and around Sunnyvale because you have the accessibility, you have the 
close proximity to parks. Like I said, if, I'm, if my math is right, there's almost one park for every square mile. Uh, 21.78 miles and 19 parks, sorry, 22.78 miles and, mar and, and 19 parks, there's almost one park for every, for every square mile, almost. It's quite close. So those things are, are, very, are, are very appealing. And I think that when you look at the downtown Sunnyvale as well with the restaurants and just the diversity, there's so many different people in Sunnyvale that really has and creates a different uh, vibe and a really thriving just area. Sunnyvale people tend to be very happy. Silicon Valley in general, people tend to be very happy. Sunnyvale people tend to be very happy, very friendly and really enjoy getting out. And when you look across the board, it's pretty amazing because Sunnyvale in itself is, uh, it's always sunny in the Vale, right? When I moved out here from New Jersey, Sunnyvale is actually the place that my family and I moved to. And I remember coming out from New Jersey and thinking, wow, you know, this is California. This is really cool. I just remember thinking that in Sunnyvale, you can see the hills. In Sunnyvale, you you get seagulls every once in a while. You're not, you're not close to the ocean, though. You're not close to the ocean. But... In Sunnyvale, it's just a very strong community. It feels very nice in Sunnyvale. That's it for Sunnyvale. That's it for me on Sunnyvale. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me. Phone number is 408-393-9294. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.